Gaussian kernel is a commonly used kernel which corresponds to a dot product in an infinite dimensional space. This kernel is evaluated by taking e to the power of the product between the hyperparameter gamma and the squared Euclidean norm of the difference between the inputs. We will see what this kernel does by considering it as a form of a template matching and then derive the infinite dimensional space of this kernel. Consider the following data. We have the training example minus 0 0.5 labeled as minus 1 and a training example 0 0.25 labeled as 1. Consider the test point 0 0.2. For the kernel, we will use gamma equal to 1. And because we have a data with just one feature, we can simply square the difference. Let's first evaluate the kernel for this test point and its first training example. We will get a response approximate to 0 0.6. If we do the same with the second training example, we will get a response approximate to 1. The response is greater for the second example. This means that the second example is more similar to the test point than the first one. For any positive gamma, closer examples A and B will have a larger RBF kernel than the farther examples. Let's now derive the space of this kernel. Without loss of generality, we will use gamma equal to 0 0.5. Let's expand the square of this kernel. We can then use the power of product rule to rewrite it as follows. Left hand side of this product is a constant and we will denote it with c. Now we have c times e to the power a times b. Recall the Maclaurin expansion of e to the x. It is an infinite sum. We can write down the same for e to the a times b. And because we get an infinite sum of products that can be rewritten as a dot product between vectors with infinite number of elements.